Are you a pro at snowboarding? Or are you just a noob? Hello, humanity! Welcome back, it's Tor here for another video with you guys. Nice. So today I wanted to talk about the four different kinds of snowboarders that you're gonna meet while you're skiing or snowboarding down that ski hill. Or snowboard hill. So without further ado, let's just get started. Number one, there's the pro. The professional. The amazing snowboarder. This is the guy who is basically like going down, he has no mistakes. He's like going up the jumps and perfect landing. He's like, he's basically like the coolest guy on the hill. Number two is the flowy roller. Um, basically, this is the person who's actually, actually this is like a really good name. I'm like, brilliant. So basically they're, they've gotten the hang of it so they can go down the hill without falling over. And this is actually the, probably the category where I fit in. I'm not meaning to brag or anything. But you can go down the hill without falling over and the problem is, on the jumps, you completely wipe out. So I think the Floy Roller is actually the coolest one to watch because they're good at going down the hill. So then you're like, hey, that guy's good. And then when they go on the jump, they just completely fall. And that's what I do. Like you go, Whoa! and then you feel so cool for about 0.75 seconds. And then, boom, you just roll on the ground. And then everyone on the ski lift who's watching is like, oh, man. Look at that guy, he just totally wiped out. At least that's what I would do if I were watching myself. And then we have category three, which is the beginner. And the beginner is like the most boring to watch because basically they're always leaning back the whole time and they're not going sort of slightly backwards, which is always like scarier. So this is probably the most boring to watch because yeah, it just, it is. And then number four, is the noob. And the noob is basically like the person who um just got to the ski hill and all his friends are snowboarding. He's like, dude, I want to snowboard. It's so, so cool. Except he's like only ever skied. And then they die. They're kind of fun to watch because they fall so many times, but at the same time, sort of painful to watch. You're like, oh, that's a lot of falls. Like you can't go anywhere. <laughs> Anyways. Those are the four types of snowboarders. Now it is time for entertainment. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Quintertainment. Today's story is going to be about a boy named Timothy. Timothy decided to go snowboarding for the very first time, and he went to this mountain in Wisconsin. Actually, no. He went to one in Cal Colorado because those are like the really big ones. So he's like, hey, I'll just go up to the very top of the mountain on my snowboard. Um, so he fortunately made it up to the top without like losing a snowboard or anything. And then he fell over at ski lift, obviously, because he's a noob. So the noobs always fall over at ski lift. I didn't say that earlier, but they do. So he fell, they had to stop the ski lift and get him back up and get him going. And um, he, he got going. Well, if you can say somersaulting down the hill has got going, then yes, he did get going. But then they started ski lift again. He wasn't in the way, so they didn't really worry about it. So his friends were also snowboarding with him and they had snowboarded before so they knew what they were doing. He didn't know at all what he was doing. So Timothy, like he straps in because he at least knew how to do that because he learned how to do that at the bottom. And then he's going down and well, he's going down as in like he slides a little bit then starts turning and then falls and then slides and then gets up back up and um, rubs his tailbone a little bit because it hurts. Then he goes down a little bit then turns and falls. And then he gets back up and rubs his face a little bit because it kind of hurts when you um, face plant in the snow. And then um, he saw this awesome jump. And all his friends, like, they go up because they're like the pro kind, you know? So they just get up there and do the awesomest things ever. And Timothy's like, I want to be like that. So he's going at like top speed and he doesn't fall over this time. He goes, never be seen again. Until about 10 o'clock that night when Ski Patrol came and had to use a crane and grab him from the tree. And then they dropped him on the hill and he tumbled down like a mile up the hill. And. He was okay, just he had severe concussions and a uh, broken femur, so yeah, he's fine. Don't worry about it. He'll, he'll live at least. Um, a very sad and uh, handicapped life, but he'll live. And that's the important part of the story. Moral of this quintertainment story is if you are a snowboarder, you should definitely go up that jump because you will land in a tree and you'll see the birds in the tree. And they'll be tripping and you'll be so happy. And then also the moral is probably not to have a crane drop you down the hill because then you might end up having a handicapped life. Which could be good, but it's probably not good. It's not that great, I don't think. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, or episode, or whatever, film. Leave a like, subscribe, because that means that I know that you watched it and that you liked it. Because that's what like literally means. It means to like, to enjoy. That's your definition right there. That's going to be a tour definition. Like buttons means you enjoyed the video. So, and also if you subscribe, that means that you liked, uh, you liked snowboarding, I guess. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you in the next episode.